You need some special people. Sorry, I didn't know if you could hear me there. You meet some special people at the Olympics, big fans of the Olympics. Those were images from four years ago when I was in London. And I introduced you to a Canadian who was a volunteer. There we were there, taking part in the opening ceremony at the time there. Well, four years later, I think we look pretty much the same. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Look who is with me here in Rio now. That's Mona Yaganegi, who's back again taking part. And great to see you here. Great to be here. Thanks for coming. Uh, taking part in all sorts of different roles, including on Sunday, the closing ceremony. Look at all the, the extra access that Mona has. But here's one that says the ceremony as a participant in the cast, you're going to be taking part. Tell me about that. Yes, it's very exciting. I'm really fortunate to be, again, taking part in another ceremony. And Rio has been an amazing experience for me. And um, I will have the fortune of escorting a country come with a flag bearer. Um, I'm not sure if I will be escorting Canada's Canada, flag bearer. I'm be. hoping, could yes. be. Um, but also in another section that uh, you will be probably Yes, you singing. can't tell me. Now, <laughs> Marco Ballage did give us some hints yesterday that it's going to be a, Mar a Mardi Gras theme or a Blocco theme, a big yes. street party theme. Yeah. So we should watch for you. Or will you be in a costume that we won't be able to recognize you? I then? will be in a costume at the beginning. And okay. then I think you will be able to recognize me. And towards the end, where there will be a party, of okay. course, and I will be doing a little samba. Oh, fabulous. So. Okay, take a good look at Mona <laughs> and then watch for her as you watch the telecast. And, but you've been doing other things at this game too, which is a little bit different. Um, working with the athletes in particular as an interpreter. Yes. Um, tell me a little bit about that role and the experiences that you've had. It's the first time that I've had this role and it's wonderful because you get to see the athletes before the competition and right after the competition. Um, and I get to be part with the um, Olympic broadcasting services and get to interview them and um, translate uh, their comments right before and after the game, which is really exciting. So what are the athletes like before as opposed to, I guess it depends on how it went, doesn't it? <laughs> Tell me how, what they like to deal with. Um, they're wonderful. They're great sport. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of them are tired after their competition, mm -hmm. again, depending off what um, competition we're talking about. I've had the fortune of interviewing volleyball team. There are more number, a lot of more people there, so you can choose other athletes that are willing to speak with you. And um, winners are always happy. Um, and those, I wouldn't like to say losers. I think they've all, everyone that's mm -hmm. at the Olympics are winners in their own way. Um, they have a nice way of sharing their um, their way of getting there so um yeah, it's the journey good. for the them, journey even yeah. if it ends in disappointment yes. uh, they've told us so many times the lessons that they have learned how many olympics is this for you fourth olympics for, now what keeps drawing you back to the olympic rings um it's a celebration of the human ambition and that's what I like to keep telling myself. And um, it's wonderful. The world comes together and I get to be part of history. Um, and uh, witnessing and knowing that I was there and had made, a, made an impact, a small, it could be put a smile on um, someone just walking um, in the Olympic Village. It's just wonderful. Looks like you had some nice moments <laughs> yourself to explore Rio, which is the, you know, the marvelous city and yes. such extraordinary sights. Did you enjoy that part of it too? Very much. Um, uh, Rio has been wonderful, better than I expected. Really? Yes, absolutely. In terms of what, transportation and? Uh, Everything, safety, transportation, and uh, medical concerns, that was all over the news. Zika. And, mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Um, I've fortunately didn't have any issues um, and been few days left I, I've been okay so far and really enjoyed wonderful people very warm that's the spirit of the Brazilian people really does shine through doesn't Absolutely. it what has been maybe in your dealings with the Olympic athletes what has been your Olympic moment here Mona I think one of the special moments is that um, I saw uh, Kosovo win their first gold medal at judo. Uh, Kosovo is one of the two countries here for the very first time yes and for, so you, you were here at this yes yes and you saw that so I tell me that. about that moment and the, amb the ambiance. It was amazing. Everyone was cheering. Um, even though that maybe they weren't representing Kosovo, they were from Brazil, from Canada, all the fans that were out there, they were very um, happy for that individual and that athlete to live that dream, and not just for herself, but for her country. Um, it was a proud moment, and I was... I have to be honest, I was emotional as well. I think all of us were emotional backstage and congratulating her. So it was great to be there. Okay, well, thanks for coming back. Nice to see you again. Nice to be Every here. four years we get together at the uh, Summer Olympics. Mona and watch.
Enjoy the ceremony Thank coming you. up on Sunday. Thank you.